as a result of the power of our work, we, that's part of what led us being involved in, in Farrakhan, Minister Farrakhan's Men More Movement March. Greetings, ma'am. My name is Cleo Monago. I'm the founder of the Black Men's Exchange in New York, Harlem, Los Angeles, and Atlanta. I'm not surprised that it happened. And the reason I'm not surprised that it happened is because of the power of the work that we do. It's transformative. We don't try to tell people how to think, we just tell them to think. We give them information and tools to use while they think, but we don't tell them what to think. My name is Elton, but I am very shy, but I, I think we really need to be reminded how we treat each other and how we think about people. And um, so I was saying to Cleo, sometimes I tend to judge people too quickly or kind of make fun of how they look or something. But he said, You in your seat right now can decide never to be abusive, vindictive, divisive, destructive, and traumatizing to a black person ever again. And that left a lasting impression on me. So I'm going to start today. And there were things that happened even since he said that, and I had to stop and think about it. So this is a really good conference. And if I get nothing else the rest of the day, that was a good thing to take away. These behavioral changes as a result of this critical thinking is sustained over a long period of time, over years. So the work and the sweat and the tears of going through this process is well worth it in terms of sustainability. An older sister, maybe in her 80s, came up to me and with her, with her grandson who escorted her over to me, she said, baby, there was a word you kept using that kept on having an impact on me. You kept saying same gender loving. And you kept saying like it's a real word. And I said, well, ma'am, it is a real word. Human beings agree that that's a house and that's a cat and that's a dog. It's a real word if you agree with what we're trying to do here. She said, well, you know, I don't, where I'm from, we don't tolerate that mess. You know, we, we think y'all perverts and y'all be up in the bushes doing stuff and doing all this kind of stuff behind doors where it belongs. And, and I, I don't agree with that mess. But, I, but you kept saying same gender loving and I never considered loving being in your whole nothing. I thought, I thought there was sex and perversion and I never considered that love was part of your intent. And now I got something to think about, baby. She said, I'm, I'm not too old to, to, to learn nothing. I have something to think about and thank you. And she asked me because she kissed me on, on my cheek and she did. Just the fact that the Black Men's Exchange exists and having dialogue in the presence of other men has been transformative and woken up a lot of the brothers to their own possibilities to love themselves, to be proactive, to be part of solutions. And so we won't know that unless we sit down and start talking to each other, sharing the pains, talk about the wounds that we don't see, talk about the stuff we feel uncomfortable talking about, because that's what we talk, what's what they call empowering. The Amasi Health and Cultural Center has piloted a health strategy called CTCA, which stands for Critical Thinking and Culture Affirmation. And it's a strategy toward helping black people put themselves at risk sexually or behaviorally for things that can hurt them like drug abuse or, or HIV to find out why they do it. When people know that something can, is, is detrimental to them or has, could have a negative impact on them or potentially affect the quality of life or even kill them and still do it, I think some therapy is helpful. And what we found through the CTCA model that people have transformed and gone from self-destructive to being concerned about both themselves and the community collectively. And so I think that the first thing that you're dealing with, it seems, is the psychosocial stuff, which then allows you to, to take ownership of your life and take responsibility for your life and then to perpetrate that to people around you, that you care about yourself so then you care about other people. Because now they value black people and they value themselves and they're concerned about the longevity of of both parties, which we're, which we're part of. And it, it was, and it was acknowledged in the American Journal of Public Health, the CTCA model, and has gotten some scientific support. We did a similar project with, with, gang, with young men who had been in gangs, who knew that Pookie and Junebug got killed for the same thing just last week, and were still doing it, knowing directly that somebody died from the same thing. And so we used the same model to, with them, and with, it also was impactful with that group. Our work is powerful. Bro, that was an excellent job, man. Thanks, man. I, I really enjoyed it. It was very insightful.
I appreciate the feedback, man. Based on some of the young brothers that I come in contact with. Oh, cool. Keep up the struggle, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. All right.